if you use IRC, whether you be new to IRC or an experienced user, and you use a Mac, you will want this software. It's called Linkinus. It's an IRC client for OS X. Now, there's not many available, but out of the ones I've used, this is definitely my favorite, probably the best as well. So th this is the website where you can download it or, of course, purchase it because it's not free, but it's certainly worth the money. Hopefully, I'll show you that today. Um, so it lists or outlines some of the features that this app has, but I'm just going to go straight in and show you show you the app itself. Now, you may have just noticed a growl notification, which shows that this app does integrate really well with growl notifications on OS X to show you highlights. Um, and other information similar to that when you don't have the, the, the app focused. So this is a great app for um, people who are new to IRC all the way up to people who have been using IRC since, the, since it was invented. I think it was like in the 80s. Anyway, the first thing you notice about the, this app is the interface. It looks really, really nice which is always good when you're using a Mac app because you want them to look as good as possible because that's probably part of the reason why you bought a Mac in the first place because they look nice. So the the window separates into three sections. On the left we've got all the channels, um, private messages, things like that separated by the, the server they're on and it keeps them really organized and neat like that. I could just rearrange them um, put them in any order I want. It shows you how many messages you've missed um, since you last like clicked it. Um, it would also it also shows you how many highlights you've had in those particular channels. So the main section is of course the channel the channels themselves which it shows at the top the topic and then of course just a similar layout that you'd expect. And the right are all the users in the chat organized alphabetically and into like sections based on the privilege that privileges they have within a channel. So if you're using this it, it allows you to kind of run IRC commands and do all of the, the standard stuff you do in IRC really easily from either keyboard shortcuts or menus which are always easily accessible. So if I just take a user in the chat you can do all the standard moderator stuff there providing of course you're a moderator in the channel an op or someone else with that with similar privileges you can get info on a specific p personal user it will also show you information from the server in the, the channel area there and then I'll go into some of these features a, a little bit later in this video but you've got access to various windows there as well so similarly on the other side on, in the channels list you can add new channels um, kind of leave channels if I open this and bring it across here this is the inspector so it's very similar to the finder um, th this particular feature to get information and change different bits of data for for a channel. So you've got the topic, which I suppose you could edit right there. You can automatically run commands when you join a channel. Um, set up highlights so when those words are said in the channel, you get notified. Um, you've got all the modes there so you can easily set those without remembering the IRC commands. You've got some more advanced stuff at the bottom. So you can see there, mute, growl and sound. So you have full control over each channel individually. And then you can show the bands for a channel. So it's not short of features when you're inspecting, I suppose, a channel. One of the nice things about Linkinus is, um, apart from the interface, the way it handles media within um, a channel. If someone posts a YouTube link in the in the channel, hopefully someone 
in, in the chat right now will post a link in the next few minutes um, to a YouTube video. Or if someone posts a link to an image, it will kind of show the embedded media in Linkinist, so you don't have to click the link and open the web page. You can just view the video or see the, the image right in the, the IRC channel, which is really cool. Another thing you can do is star messages or bookmark messages. If you see as I scroll along, you get a little star appearing next to each person's name. There's an image, and there's a YouTube video. There's another image. So you can see, there's one of my videos. Um, thanks, guys. So you can see it straight away. It just shows you that media without me needing to kind of open it and view it through a web browser and I could go ahead and play that video right there if I wanted to nice little button to open it in a web browser um, or you could just return to the link if it's taking up too much space just like that so it's really cool being able to do that it makes it very useful if people are posting lots of links so you don't have to keep opening images and waiting for them to load in a browser anyway back to <laughs> bookmarking messages if I wanted to like save a message to go back to later there will, I'm sure you can think of reasons why you may want to do that um, if I star that it, you can see it, it's immediately highlighted and then you can open the highlight and stars window which shows the messages that you have starred in the past and also all the times you've been highlighted now if I was to click this one I start earlier isn't this a nice international chat Francis said earlier it automatically scrolls to the channel um, and the time when that was said and shows you that, that highlighted message so it that that again the interface works really well it's really intuitive to use and the extra features this has make this in my opinion a lot better than other other IRC clients of excuse me available for OS 10 so if we take a look at the preferences now you can configure all sorts of things here um one of the the big features this has over other IRC clients um for OS 10 is automation. You can set up various scripts, and you can use Apple Script, um, install plugins. It's quite cool, and the preferences is a lot like the the system preferences that you you're used to in OS 10. So it's really easy to navigate around and find what you're looking for. You have full control over the way this app looks. It also comes with various themes or styles. I'm using just the default one here, but these are the examples like that. Didn't seem to work too well though. There we go. And then I could customize this style further. Um, but I, I do like the, the default one, so I'm just going to stick with that for now. So you can customize sounds, colors, alerts, so that's growl notifications, things like that. So really advanced control over how the app works. Another feature I like about Linkiness is the identities you can set up. If I go and inspect this connection um, to an IRC server I can set up identities so you you don't have to identify yourself each time you connect to a network it can automatically identify with things like Nick server there's a few others as well but the IRC networks I connect to use there we go Nick serve, Nick op, QXG, server auth, and auth serve. So whichever authentication 
system the server uses, Linkinus should be able to identify yourself. And you can set up separate identities for each connection, and it's really easy to switch between them. So that works well. And again, this is the this is the inspector, just like earlier. You can see and edit all kinds of information. So there's automatic um, features again this time instead of for the channel for the the whole server highlights. So you have control over every channel in a server. Um, through the inspector there. You can control channels individually by inspecting each channel and you can control everything through the Linkinus preferences. So that's they are my main or oh, my favorite features that I wanted to show you. So like I said everything is easily accessible and you can do advanced IRC things from from within Linkinus without needing to remember all of the IRC commands which of course you could use as well so you can it, th this is like everything here, here's the log viewer for example which you can see is quite advanced um, some IRC clients just generate text files for you which you would have to open in a text editor you can set up buddies and filters and it it's certainly worth the money. I'm currently only using the trial, but when it runs out, I will certainly buy myself a copy of Linkinus because it 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 is the best IRC client I've ever used. It has lots of features, maybe not the most features um, compared to maybe IRC clients for Windows, but it definitely looks nicer. Alex is asking how much. I believe it's. 20 euros for one copy. There we go, 19.99. So it's not a bad price for a really nice app. My email address is jake at jakewright.net. Um, if you want to tell me about maybe in another IRC client for OS 10 or for Windows. My website is where you'll find my live stream, where you can watch me record videos live, stream live all day. Join this um, live chat, which you can see here. And Francis asking how long the trial lasts. I think it's 15 days. I'm not sure though. So you can see I've got three remaining. It will of course tell you on the the, the website. A link. Put it, I'll put a link in the description so you can find all the information you want and um, download the trial. As I was saying, jakewright.net is my website where oops, <laughs> try not to open RTP, where you'll find my live stream, the live chat, my blog, and lots more. Thanks for watching.